Yo ninjas, I'm Kayo and welcome back to my channel. This is the first tutorial of a long series and I want to start with something very very easy. Even if you're not a b-boy or a bigger, that means a break dancer, you can start with this move. This move is called the one step and it's the first move that I ever learned. Just to give you a little bit of context, this move is part of footworks. For who is not a b-boy or a bigger, footworks are all the breaking movements where you do dance steps but on the floor, mainly using your feet. Then there are top rocks, there are stand up steps, then there are power moves that are spinning movements, rotation like the head spin or the flares where you, your legs are swinging around and then there are the freezes that are all the static positions kind of like taking a picture like the handstand or like the headstand or like the elbow freeze all these movements are freezes. I want to start with a footwork because I think it's very very useful to learn more advanced steps and also because it's the way I started. In this tutorial I'm gonna explain you four ways to do the same move. Actually they are almost the same. I'm not gonna explain in this tutorial how to put all the four variations together. I'm gonna make a variation tutorial for that next week but for now I'm just gonna explain how to do the one step or helicopter in these four different ways. Accessory and very useful to learn more advanced moves like the flares or more advanced footworks or the swipes. So before to start you have to make sure to be very comfortable in this position. As you can see I'm on my toes and not on my heels. So like this. Open your legs, open your knees. Don't stay like this but stay with your knees towards the ground as low as possible and it's called the position zero and we are gonna use it for almost all the footwork steps that I'm gonna teach you in future. We are gonna start in the clockwise direction. So in this case, put your right arm on the floor. It's better if you put only the fingers like this, not the whole hand. So try to use only this part of your hands, not flat like this and not only the tips of your fingers like this, but the whole fingers. If it's too hard for you, you can also put your whole hands on the floor like this, but with the time I recommend you to stay more in this position. Another tip, don't put your hands or your arms too wide, kind of like here. Try to stay small, maybe a little bit wider than your shoulder, not too small like this, maybe kind of like that is good. So like this you have a little bit more range. Just try to play in this position and you will naturally find your balance and the way to move your hands. And be careful, don't hurt your hands. So lean your right hand on the floor and extend your left leg like this. From this position you should move your left leg from the side. As you can see it's not on the front, it's not like this, but it's on the side. Turn your leg here. So do this and at the same time move your arm like this, again from here to here. When you arrive here in this position you should jump with your right leg, not jump too high but just a little bit, just like this and with this other leg, with the left one, push back, so like this. So after the jump you should immediately put your right hand on the floor and arriving in this position. So when you jump, don't fall flat on your foot, on your right foot, but always stay on the toes of your foot. From here to here, and then spin back, and you do it again. Jump, again in this position. If you can't do it, just make sure to be comfortable in this position, maybe do some exercises, like jump a little bit in this position, or move your legs, one, two, Try to randomly move yourself in this position, turn around, turn to the other side, just to get a little bit comfortable. Also without the hands, like this, try to walk around, just to be more comfortable in this position. Never use your heels, always use your toe, your toes. Is it called like that in English? Guys, I hope my English is good enough for you to understand. <laughs> so again, left leg straight, weight on your right arm, spin and jump. Jump, jump, 
jump. As you can see, when I start, I'm leaning in this position. But after the first round, my weight is all the time here on the front. So jump, and as you can see, my weight is here. It's not anymore here, but it's on the front. So here, here, here. If you still didn't get some part, just rewatch the tutorial until now and make sure to understand and to try more. So this is low. And this is fast. Second variation of this move is a little bit harder. You're gonna spin always clockwise but you're gonna use the right leg this time. So before we used to do it like this, now we're gonna do it with the other leg like this. Always in the same way, you just change the leg. So you can connect both of them without stopping, you know? So for example, this is the first one. I do two rounds and then I connect the other one. And then again, the first one and then the other. You start always in the same position here, and instead of going this way, you're going with the other leg. So from here, you lean your right arm and you keep your right leg straight. Not in front of you, a little bit shifted on the left. So you have more power to spin it. From here, move, move your hands first, like this, and then be low with your knee and jump. From here, you should do the same jump that you did before, but in this way, from here, so, in the first way, we did the jump in this way and the second, we're gonna do the jump in the other, to the other side, like this. So again, you start from here, you move and you jump, you move and you jump. So, these are the first two variations. I'm gonna show you the second one one more time. First slow and then faster and then we are gonna go ahead again. If you didn't understand something, just re-watch this part. Slow. Fast. Now that you can do the first two variations, it's time to learn them on the other side, spinning counterclockwise. I'm not gonna explain the variations on the other side because actually it's the same. If we started here, we should start here, but it's the same. And also with the other leg, it's the same. So again, a little demonstration. First, I'm gonna do three rounds clockwise and then three rounds counterclockwise of both steps. Clockwise, one, two, three. I'm gonna change, go to the other, and do it counterclockwise. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna stay with the same leg and I'm gonna go clockwise again. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna change and I'm gonna go counterclockwise. One, two, three. So we are doing the same move, but in four different ways. I recommend you to practice all these four ways. Even if you already started breaking and you are doing all your moves in the same side, for example, you spin clockwise, I recommend you to practice this move, the one step in both sides. A quick tip to make your one step look better. Try to jump a little bit higher on the back and try to bend your legs a little bit, kind of like in this way, after the jump. So it will look like that. If you jump higher, it will look like that in the back. I'm gonna show you two little examples of how you can use this move in both ways. I'm gonna explain them in the next tutorial. And the next tutorial will be always about the one step, but I will explain more variations. So the first one is this. In this first variation that I show you, we use only the first step in both ways. In this second variation that I'm gonna show you right now, we're gonna use all the four steps. If you wanna learn these two variations that I showed you, stay tuned for the next Friday that I'm gonna upload the next tutorial and click the notification bell. If you want, send me on my Instagram at kayofalcrow 
your one step, all the four variations, so I can check them and I can give you tips. Or even if you are not a dancer and you just want to start, send me, don't be afraid, just try, just start, do it very gradually if you are a beginner. If you are advanced, also send me these four variations on both sides and I'm gonna use your videos in the next tutorial. So that's it for this video Ninja, see you next Friday I think, I think I'm gonna upload the next tutorials on Friday at 1.30, I'm in Italy, but I'm still not that sure, so turn on the notification bell. If you are interested in my merch, check out the links in the description and see you next week. Yo, ninjas! Oh, and I forgot. If you're new to this channel, we already made some tutorials, you can check them. I will also put the link in the description. So make sure to check the description for all the links. Peace!